Welcome back to Binge Finance. We talk about growth stocks which have pulled back. Stay up to date with our content by subscribing and turning on notifications. Today I want to look at Perion Network. It's a company which ticks a lot of boxes at the moment and it's pulled back considerably. Remember, I'm just a YouTuber. I could easily miss something important, so do your own due diligence. Stocks that have pulled back can continue to go down, so don't risk too much on any one stock. Perion is an Israeli-based ad tech company providing engagement and monetization applications for web and mobile-based digital businesses. Back in December, not that long ago, we are facing around $8 and we got up to $26. This stock has pulled back considerably and potentially to a support. Now I don't know if that will be the support and you never really want to catch a falling knife. Also as I've spoken about before supports can be dangerous because whilst buyers do usually come in at support if support fails everybody jumps out the door short sellers come in and you can get a very fast move down so you have to be careful buying at support. So um, this video is really to say the stock has pulled back and perhaps it's worth taking a look and if strength and buying comes back into the stock it might be a good one to buy. Let's have a look at the company in more detail. Now as it says here on the Motley Fool, Perion, uh, like much of the tech industry, Perion is benefiting from an acceleration in the transition to digital advertising. And we see that Oppenheimer raises estimates, targets as digital advertising growth accelerates. So digital advertising in general as a sector looks to be doing very good. Let's go into a bit more detail here. Oppenheimer is boosting its forecast for global internet advertising for fiscal 2021 and boosting its revenue estimates for the lead players across the board. It's citing higher gross domestic product forecasts, themselves benefiting from overlapping effects of economic reopening momentum and government stimulus, along with the benefits for digital ads from e-commerce tailwinds and a recovery in travel and entertainment. It's those latter segments, along with auto and consumer products, where the firm sees the biggest year-over-year -year deltas. It says, and an outsized impact from those gains will be realized by Google and Perion. Over on Simply Wall Street, we can see that Perion is trading at 52.3 below their estimate of fair value. They have their fair value at $32.76, current value is $15.62. And the earnings are forecast to grow 37.31% per year. And the financial health looks good as well. Their assets exceed their short and long-term liabilities. And they've had a historical annual earnings growth of 51.4%. Now incidentally, ARK, Inv sorry, ARK Israel Innovation Technology ETF, IZRL, uh, they do own this company. It is uh, number 42 here. And the Motley Fool says that if you factor in the company's low price to earnings ratio, which is still under 30, which is less than the S&P 500, uh, that's 40, uh, the stock continues to look like a bargain. Over on Yahoo Finance, uh, I like to see here that the earnings have been beating consensus. And if you look at the last year quarterly, this is 2020, you can see um, the Revenue has been growing steadily and earnings is increasing as well. Now, on Perion's own website, they make some good points about the market, showing how the global digital advertising is on track to exceed half a trillion dollars in a few years. The pandemic has accelerated this trajectory and Perion competes in the three pillars that make up this massive market. Um, the annual revenue march is on as well for the company. They've had robust growth even as the pandemic sent shockwaves through the market. And this is what I always like to see, net cash has been increasing. They've steadily improved cash flow and reduced debt, giving them firepower to make strategic acquisitions and invest in R&D. Uh, this uh, pink line here is showing the net cash and this is their debt going down year on year. Looks very good. Uh, they speak about their technical moat and how they run a lean machine and they're constantly improving their operations. And um, they have a three year growth plan here. So I will put a link to this in the description, a link to everything I've used uh, in this uh, video actually. So just quickly going back to the chart again, this is really why I wanted to bring it to your attention. Um, if we manage to get back to the highs from here, back to there would be a 70% gain, not bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.